Stampers, Deb Falder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and today I'm going to show you how to do my Hexagon Beehive card. It's very easy, done with punches, and let's get started. This is one that I had done with um, our red, white, and blue because it's almost 4th of July, so there's a nice 4th of July card, fast, fun, and exciting. Um, you'll see that I added to it, I just kept adding to this card, so I took the things that I had punched out and I added them to my, um, my piece, and then what I did was I added some of our crystal effects to it. I am crystal effects crazy lately so whatever I do I always add something with crystal effects. It's also a great adhesive if you need an adhesive. This is the card I'm going to show you how to do and um, both of these little punches come out of our new um, itty bitty accents punch pack and there is um, a star, a heart, and a little flower. I use those quite often even though they are brand new I have probably used them to death already. So the card that we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do is this one right here. Very simple, very easy. This bow was done with a fork bow. You can go onto my YouTube channel and Google me with um, fork bow and you'll see how to do that. It's amazing um, and literally done with a fork. And then this card that I'm going to show you today starts out with a card base that is 11 by 4 and a quarter. The next layer is four by five and a quarter and this one is three and three quarters by five. All of the written measurements are going to be on my blog so you can just hop on over there if you um, would like to get those. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take and um, we're going to put our sentiment on and I've been using this stamp set a lot. It's called and many more. Um, I use the wood mounted for my sayings now just because they're easy to just grab and stamp because I leave my cards blank um, well, I put the design on it, but then I leave the sentiment off, and then when I need a card, I just go over to my card box, grab whatever card I like and think is appropriate, and then put the saying on it. So it just saves me a whole lot of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Smoky Slate ink, and I'm going to just um, do my sentiment on the bottom. And for this one, I'm just going to use just because, just because I can. And I'm just going to stamp that right there on the bottom. And I like to put my sentiment on before I put my beehive on there so that I know where to place my beehive. Now what I would do is I would actually lay them out just so that I know I have enough room. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to work off of this card. So you can just lay them around. You can put them anywhere that you want. I like to have equal amounts of the design um, just so that it is symmetrical. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start placing them onto my card. And what I did was I just punched three gray and three, uh, that's the smoky slate, and then three of the blushing bride. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to just um, go straight edge to straight edge. And that's what makes it look like a beehive. And what I did was I punched out the heart. This one I used the... Um, the little flower from that same punch pack, and for this one I used the stars. So I used all three pieces um, in my um, punch pack, um, and just to show you how, how cute all three of them look. So this one right here, I'm actually using um, the, um, the, excuse me, I'm using the uh, heart. And you want to get your first one straight so that it is... Um, your base and it, you're gonna work off this first piece right there so there's my first one and then I'm gonna take and I'm going to add my next one and all I did was put a couple of um, pop dots on the bottom of this just like that and um, I'm just um, adhering them away. You'll notice that I'm not pushing down too hard because just in case I have to um, move them a little bit, um, I still can. And then what I'm doing also is trying to get them so that they are evenly spaced. Um, wait a minute here. We're just getting them evenly spaced in between each piece. You see how I'm spaced here and I'm spaced here? Okay, and then I'm just going to add this one, and I'm almost done. And then I will just add my bow. Okay, you see how fast this is? I'll add another one here, and then another one right here. And if I need to, I'll just go back and um, straighten them up just a little bit. To add my little bow, I just used a, um, a mini glue dot and added that to the bottom right over here. So I'm just going to take my mini glue dot and add my bow just wherever I want. I can put it here, I can put it here, wherever. And then that is your card. It's just a punch art, um, very simple, what I need. Now, if you didn't have the, the words on here on the bottom, you could actually take and use this for anything. So you could just grab it, 
um, put your sentiment on, and then um, just mail it out. If you have any questions, just get a hold of me. Hop on over to my blog and let me know how you do. Take care and have a great day.